Hey, welcome back to Football Friday Night. There were a lot of games played in the Augusta area tonight, but one of the best matchups was out in Barnwell County. Yeah, Barnwell and Blackville Hilda facing off. Blackville without longtime head coach David Barry, who we were told tonight stepped down a few weeks ago for health-related reasons. He's still going to be inducted into the South Carolina Football Coaches Hall of Fame this December. We wish him all the best on the field tonight. First quarter, Pete Elmore hands off to Michael Lee. For the touchdown, Barnwell takes the lead 7 to nothing. Then Blackville driving, Tyrese Byers throws up the pass, gets picked off by Markeith Corley, and he takes it 30 yards for the pick six. Barnwell up 14 nothing, and they keep rolling. Craig Pender hands off to Michael Lee. That's his second touchdown of the day. Barnwell leads 21 nothing. Let's make it three. Pender hands off again to Lee for his third touchdown. In the first half, that puts Barnwell up 28-0. They roll tonight over Blackville Hilda, 42-0. Silver Bluff lost its opener to South Aiken on game night live last week. Bulldogs, though, own a 6-1 all-time record against Williston Elko, including wins the past two seasons, picking things up. In the fourth quarter, a costly turnover for the Silver Bluff special teams. Williston Elko now set up at the 10-yard line two plays later. Tress, Trey's Rhymes hands off to Terrell Young. He goes up the middle for six. Wilson Elko goes for two. Rhymes finds Noah Wooten through the air to put them up 22 0. Wilson Elko wins 22 to 6. Out to Richring Moneta. The Trojans looking to rebound against Saluda tonight after a loss to Batesburg Leesville in its opener. Third quarter, Saluda up 29 0. Richring Moneta with the ball trying to make a comeback. Tyson Bettis makes the best out of a poor snap. Trojans, though, unable to do anything on that possession. So salute a ball, Noah Bell, to Osiris Springs. But the Trojans' defense comes up with a huge strip and turnover. And on the ensuing drive, it's Bettis to Jason Rogers. Huge connection through the air, but Saluda blanks Ridge Spring Manetta 43 to nothing. We'll stay in Aiken County now with a ma matchup that was renewed back in 2014. Strom Thurmond has gotten the best of Aiken two of the past three years, but the Hornets upset the Rebels 27-26 last season. Strom Thurmond ranked sixth in the state for 3A and pitching a shutout for, through the first half. Up 20 to nothing, facing a fourth down early in the third. They decide to go for three. Lawson Reed, 39-yarder, good. That dude's loving it. <laughs> Thurmond <laughs> fans feeling it. Fourth down from their own 42-yard line. Quindarius Corley quick pass to Stevon Porter, and he goes to the house, and he gets the camera point in it too. But on the first play after the ensuing kickoff, Javon Holston around the end, untouched. Strom Thurmond, always so many playmakers. 78-yard touchdown run, and the Rebels win 37-6. Aiken's crosstown rival, South Aiken, playing at White Knoll. What a game this was. They were coming off a dominating win against Silver Bluff on Game Night Live. T-Breds ranked third in the state for 4A teams. Third quarter, South Aiken down 21-14. Deshaun Kitchens. Look at the moves and the speed. Just like that, he's gone and we are tied. We'll stay in the third quarter. Same score, Thoroughbreds get the ball back. This offense just keep pounding the rock with Chris Roberts. Robert. Let's do it once more, and he's going to get into the end zone. It's 27-21 after he mixed, missed extra point, but White Knoll scored late and converted a two-point conversion to pull off the upset. Final score, South Aiken Falls, 35-34. to Cross Creek crossing the river to take on Fox Creek at Lions Field in North Augusta. Preds won the first ever matchup between these teams last year, 37-20. to Cross Creek ball up big. Eric Stacy takes the handoff. Breaks a tackle, and he's into the end zone, and the Razorbacks led 33-7. Preds not throwing in the towel yet. Cameron Mitchum hits Miles Hammond, who makes the catch. Jukes a defender before he gets dragged down. Great play there. And then later on, Mitchum takes the high snap, fights for the touchdown, but Cross Creek picks up a big win over Fox Creek. Final score, 33 to 14. The Midland Valley Mustangs played for a state title a couple seasons ago, beginning their second season under head coach Andrew Jenkins. Greenwood in town tonight, runs the jet sweep, but Raquan Jackson blows it up. Great tackle for a loss, huge play there. 
for Midland Valley. Later in the drive, it's Vaughn Ramsey. He takes it in from six yards out. That put Greenwood up seven to nothing. Tanner White, though, for Midland Valley hits Kendrike Starlings. Makes a great snag. Just keeps his feet in bounds. And then and it's Deodre Pearson who takes it up the middle for six yards. But Midland Valley not able to get on the board. Greenwood cruises 37 to nothing. Well, we still have more to get to on this second week of Football Friday Night. Yeah, we head up to Lincolnton for a matchup that dates back to 1922. Highlights of Lincoln County and McCormick next on Football Friday Night. 